Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Verd Array, 750 watt, self-ballasted, clear mercury vapor bulb. This particular bulb was bought at a race store in Anthem, Arizona for $1, so that was very cheap if you ask me. And surprisingly, a fun fact, that this is my first ever self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb video that is ever going to be posted on my channel, so this is definitely going to be a YouTube first for me, so that's a plus. So anyways, let's not waste any more time and we'll look at the etch real quick, also known as the information about this mercury vapor bulb. So anyways, you can see the etch right now. You can see the bulb code up top. MV stands for mercury vapor. There's the 750, means that this is a 750 watt. SB stands for self-ballasted. And um, FL, I'm not sure what that means. And there's the wattage right there, 750 watt. There's the company name in the middle. And um, it's supposed to operate on 230 volts, but I actually tested this about half an hour ago, like 30 minutes ago, and it actually operates on 120 volts too, which is pretty neat. So, Vero Merrick, that's really neat. Letter R means that this bulb will emit UV radiation if it breaks. So, anyways, that's it for the etch. So, let's look at the construction real quick to see how this bulb was made. So, you can see the stem down there. Very nice. And um, here's all the welding process to connect to the arc tube and to the filament because this is a self ballasted mercury vapor bulb. So, you can see the R2, very long, and um, you can see right there, right by the R2 is the tungsten filament. So look at that, tungsten filament. There's the R2 itself, you can see the electrodes and the mercury in there, and there's the top electrode. And um, there's the little tip to help support the whole bulb itself. So that's it for the construction. I'll give you a little bit of specifications about the bulb and then I'll turn it on. So here's a plus. You can actually put this in in you know normal sockets because you don't need a ballast for it. It's self-ballasted. That means it already has a ballast equipped on the bulb already. So Anyways, I believe this bulb is a BR50 or something, BR55, or bulge reflector, even though there's actually no reflector on the bulb. It's completely clear. So, that's that. So, this bulb produces about 50,000 lumens, so it's equivalent to a 400 watt high pressure sodium bulb. So... That's nice, and this bulb has an average life of 24,000 hours, so that is quite a while. So, the color temperature of this bulb is 5900K, or daylight, and is not dimmable. If this was dimmable, that would be neat. And, um, there you go. So, we're going to go ahead and screw it into a lamp fixture, and we'll see how it starts up. So, sorry I had to put the bulb down. I was swapping hands in order to screw in the bulb. And this bulb is very, very big. So I do have an um, adapter so I can convert it to um, mogul base so I can screw it in. Since this is a mogul based self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb. So, got to go ahead and make sure that it's screwed in all the way. Alright, so... Here's the sequence of how self-ballasted mercury vapor bulbs work. The filament turns on and then, um, then the, and then once enough voltage is in the filament, the filament dims a tiny bit and then it strikes the arc tube and then, and then the arc tube takes over and then the filament dims down as the arc tube vaporizes all of the mercury in there. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and set the camera right here. So we can get a good view of the arc tube and I have to hold the camera with two hands and try to keep it, you know, not very shaky. And I have to put my welding goggles on because the filament is very bright at first. 
And if anything goes wrong with this, I'm going to turn it off for safety reasons. This bulb is actually supposed to be operating on 230 volts, but it actually does work on 120 volts without, you know, killing any um, amp breakers at all. So that is very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put my welding goggles on real quick. So I'm going to make sure my hand is on the switch to turn it on. I believe it is. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a shot in three, two, one. Anyway, the bulb is at full brightness and it is insanely bright in here. So as you can see, the bulb is giving off a very nice green color because it's a clear mercury vapor bulb. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed my first ever self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb video. So I also really hope you enjoyed this very nice um, 750 watt, I forgot the brand name. 
So, um, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice, um, 750 watt self-ballasted mercury vapor bowl, which is clear. So, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed, and please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all so much for watching.